In this video, the master instructors from Best Incorporated will demonstrate the procedure for mounting a wire to a turret type terminal. The sample used in this video is not mounted to an electronic assembly, so the procedure will involve the use of a terminal holding device. Initial inspection of the terminal indicates that there is oxidation on the terminal. This oxidation may cause the terminal to be unsolderable. Simply cleaning the terminal with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe will remove the surface oxides, leaving a clean surface ready to be soldered. Select the appropriate gauge wire for the terminal. In this case, the wire is a 22 gauge wire. Strip and clean the wire to a length sufficient to wrap to the terminal plus a little extra. The extra length of wire can be trimmed to the final length after the wire is wrapped to the terminal. Wires that are wrapped to a terminal should be tinned prior to forming the wire to the terminal. To complete the tinning process, secure the wire using a holding device. Apply flux to the area of the wire to be tinned. Using a large thermal mass tip and solder wire, create a heat bridge between the soldering iron tip and the surface of the wire. Keeping the iron tip in contact with the wire, apply solder from the opposite side of the wire up to the insulation and then down toward the end of the wire. Some solder may wick under the wire insulation. This is acceptable as long as the wicked section of the wire is not required to remain flexible. A wire diameter is defined as the diameter of the wire conductor and the outer diameter of the insulation. Place the wire in contact with the terminal, leaving approximately one wire diameter from the insulation cut end to the point where the soldered connection will begin. Wrap the tinned wire directly to the terminal. Use a wooden stick or other tool that will not damage the wire, terminal, or the assembly. Trim the end of the wire approximately even with the outer edge of the base of the terminal. For this demonstration, the instructor is using polyimid tape to hold the wire in place during soldering. Use a large thermal mass soldering iron tip. The tip selection should be able to quickly heat the wire and the terminal. Create a heat bridge between the iron tip, the wire, and the terminal. Apply solder to the opposite side of the termination so the solder can flow around the wire and terminal toward the soldering iron. Be sure to allow enough time for the connection to completely cool before movement of the assembly. After the assembly has cooled, clean the connection using a stiff bristled brush and lint-free wipe. Be sure to scrub the assembly well to remove any remaining unactivated flux, flux residue, or other contaminants. Wipe the assembly dry with a clean wipe. Inspect the assembly according to the IPCA 610 document. The IPCA 610 groups electronic assemblies into three classes. These classes are based on the intended end-use environment for the assembly. Class 1, General Electronic Products, are those where the major requirement is that the assembly is functional. Class 2, Dedicated Service Products, are assemblies where continued performance and extended life are desired, but not critical. Typically, the end-use environment would not cause failures. Class 3, High Performance or Harsh Environment Products, are assemblies in which high performance and performance on demand are critical. Downtime cannot be tolerated or the extreme environment may be uncommonly harsh. On a Class 3 assembly, the insulation can extend to and even touch the solder connection as long as it does not interfere with the required soldered connection. As a maximum, the insulation can't be more than two wire diameters from the connection and the exposed wire cannot cause a potential short to other objects on the assembly. The short is called a violation of minimum electrical clearance. The wire must wrap a minimum of 180 degrees around the terminal. 75% of that 180 degree wrap must be soldered to the terminal. 
Solder should rise between the wire and the terminal and along the terminal base so that any depression between the surfaces is not more than 25% of the radius of the wire. The end of the wire cannot extend beyond the terminal base far enough to cause a potential short to other parts of the assembly. Visit and follow us on our YouTube channel Soldering Geek for more videos. For training classes, supplies, and more, visit our website www.solder.net.